The Minnesota State Fair, it's still five months away, but already state lawmakers are tackling one of the biggest issues for fairgoers, and that's traffic. Oh, yeah. Yes, you have to get started early. Fair officials say last year the Great Minnesota Get Together had 1.8 million visitors over 12 days, more than 200,000 on busy days. And with that came clogged streets and long waits to get into the fairgrounds. Richard Reeve is live with the new state effort to come up with some solutions for all this. Rich? Yeah, Lindsay, no secret that traffic is a major headache for fair goers. State lawmakers have been talking about this since last summer, but now they're holding hearings and there's an August 1st deadline at stake. The fairgrounds quiet now in leafy hibernation. But fast forward five months. It's like if you live around here, you know it's coming. Plan accordingly. When the great Minnesota get-together begins. You can't see the end of the vehicle of traffic coming in either way. Where getting there and getting home isn't half the fun. How bad is state fair traffic? Depends on what day, what time of year, uh, what time of day actually. Scott Orff drives a tractor trailer. Early in the morning, not too bad. Afternoon, evening, horrible. Folks are anxious to get here. There's so much to do. It's a wonderful place to be. But getting here should not be such a challenge. Which is why state lawmakers... It was a snag or a snarl uh, of transportation challenges. And fair officials are taking it up at the Capitol to avoid a repeat this year. It's a door-to-door -door experience and, and understand that sometimes it can be frustrating based on the, the level of the volume of traffic that we have. A bill calls for the State Ag Society that runs the fair and the Met Council to come up with a plan by August 1st. Among the goals, reduce traffic, congestion and parking around the fairgrounds, double transit service levels from 2023 and expand ride sharing and bike storage. Is there any park and ride that could, you know, service a light rail stop, which would then, you know, be a bigger artery? Fair officials say a big problem is finding a large capacity lot near light rail stops. More shuttle buses is one solution being considered. Parking is limited down here, and they know that. And there's enough parking everywhere else to use it. And I, I've used the bus many, many times. It's great. There's enough of them running, but you just got to get everybody to use it. And state lawmakers say this is not a problem that is going away with fur attendance continuing to rise every single year. They tell us about 735,000 people took public transit to and from the fair. Bill now heading to another committee. Reporting live, Richard Reeve, 5 Eyewitness News.